Hi and welcome to Car Mechanical and today I'm going to take you through the first of my new series of videos on 3D printed car parts. So you can see a shelf peg there and that's for the parcel shelf to be hung off of and we're going to show you printing it. Now what I'm going to be doing with this series of videos is showing you various 3D printed car parts to replace bits on the interior that would, wouldn't really be worth going to VW or Audi to go and get replaced at maybe five or 10 pounds for a piece of plastic, especially when I already have a 3D printer. So what I'm showing you on screen is the peg being printed. That's sped up to about 30 times. I'm printing this at about 40 millimeters a second in PLA. And I've gone through quite a few iterations to get the peg just the right size for what I wanted. So the basic idea here is with my limited and newly gained CAD skills is to be designing things for my car um, I have uh, some things I want to put inside, so I've got like a digital boost gauge, I'll be making a surround for that. I've got a new head unit, which is smaller than the stock Audi head unit, so there's little spaces at the side I'd like to fill. I have the rear wiper, and there's like a centre section in the base of that that I want to put a replacement part into, where that's disappeared. Okay, so we can see the print's now finished. It comes to the end of the time lapse that I've set up on it, and I'm going to show you the part. And if you can notice some slight differences on the edge of that there, it's because I gave it some supports. So now it's printed, I'm going to test fit it. Just make sure it fits into where it does need to go. And now I want to put it in permanently. I'm just going to super glue it in place. It does have a fairly tight fit into the hole. Um, I had a rougher prototype that I had in there before that lasted for quite a while. But if you gave it a bit of a tug, it would come out. So that's now glued and put into place. I'm going to hang the parcel shelf clips up onto the uh, pegs. So I'm going to put the proper one in first. So make sure that the weight has been taken off. If there is any weak point, I don't want to put it down onto here and then I'm going to put the new 3D printer part on. And I'm tugging on that quite a bit and it's not shifting at all. I'm just going to pull down on the parcel shelf and again it's not moving at all. So for about half an hour in CAD and about 20 minutes of printing at a slow speed, I've got a brand new 3D printed parcel shelf peg. I'm quite happy with that. If you've got an Audi A3 like me and you need a 3D printed shelf peg, Leave comments and descriptions below. I'll stick this up on the Thingiverse website. It'll be specifically for Audi A3 8L models. I'll stick it on my blog page as well. So if you want to follow that, you can see any new models I put up as well. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any other general comments, please leave them below. 